hello everyone in this video I'm gonna show you how to wire an industrial motor using a fuse holder and a contactor now in order to begin with let me show you some real industrial pictures so you can have a better understanding now as you can see on a screen I have a fuse holder so this is how the fuse holder look like in a real industrial environment so as you can see on this fuse holder we have three fuses one two three and we call it three pole fuse holder and the next one you can see is just a single fuse so we call it a single fuse holder now our power lines l1 l2 l3 they will come on top of this fuse holder and from the bottom of the fuse holder they will go on the top of the contactor so let me show you the contactor how it looks like yeah now you can see on a screen this is how an contactor look like so basically the top part over here this one this 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 part over here is called the contactor where it actually makes the contact and the bottom part over here is what we call overload so the function of the overload is to protect our motor just in case of a short circuit or if the motor is defective now next thing is the electrical motor so I'm showing these images I know many of you guys will be familiar with these images already but this is for this video is for the beginners who have to experience this thing in their life so basically how it's gonna work is this so our three phases L1, L2, L3 will come on top of this fuse holder then they're gonna come out from the bottom of the fuse holder and they will go to the top of the contactor from here to this point second one to this point and L3 to the third point on the contactor then that L1, L2, L3 will make a contact here and they will pass out through the overload and yes you can see from the overload terminals they will go to l1 from the first terminal will go to the one wire on the motor l2 will go to the second wire on the motor and l3 will go to the third wire on the motor so i hope this give you a basic idea how the things look like and what we're going to do in this video and let me show you the real industrial diagram for this thing how it really looks like so let me pull it closer okay here we go so the fuse holder just made up one mistake let me pull it again all right it should be good now okay so the fuse holder is represented by this symbol over here one two and three these are, are our three fuses right now second thing is the contactor so the contactor is represented by this symbol over here this one this three contact you can see over here and the overload which is the bottom part over here is represented by this symbol over here and the electrical motor is represented by just a circle with a M in industrial environment so basically how this thing functioning is thus so we have three phases L1 L2 L3 coming on top of our fuses then they coming out from the bottom of the fuse going on top of the contactor and then it is going to is passing through the overload and after passing through the overload it's going on the top of the motor so this is how we basically wire a three phase electrical industrial motor so i hope i hope this video will help you and especially for the beginners and this is just uh, part one I will make the part 2 where I will show you how to wire the coil of the electrical contactor using a 110 and a 24 volt power supply. Thanks for watching.